Wowee. Roll up a fucking red carpet, why don't you? Don't hold it against them. These are mutants who escaped slavery and abuse. It makes sense that they aren't completely pleased that their torturers have come up to their doorstep. Fuck that. I never tortured anyone. I never made one of them my slave. But you lived in the system that allowed it. Like all of us. Except Phobos, of course. If you have a minute, can we talk? What's this about? Thanks to you and Scott, I got my abilities back. Doesn't make me a Technomancer, though, does it? Doesn't make me one of you. And I know you all go through a lot of training together, which I never had. Everything I know was picked up from an old renegade Technomancer who showed me some of the basics. Had to trade it for a little serum. But I'm tired of being on the outside. I just want to belong. If you, I guess, think I'm worthy or... or... Whatever. You're right, Andrew. Maybe it is time to initiate you. How painful is it? Guess you'll see. He obviously can't use the old site anymore, so you'll need some imagination. We can give it a go. Come on. These mutants took this canyon we were shown. Hell yeah, fucking right. There aren't many paths leading to mutant valleys that are safe from the sun. We'll find them. For a successful escape, the breakout is just half the battle. The other half is diligence. It is likely that they moved slowly, decided to stop, and hide at nightfall. So I am not worried. But a little help never hurt anyone. See anything, Amelia? Nope, but we're still far from that place you showed us. My baby's fast, but it doesn't know the fucking speed of light. One must muster quite a bit of courage to escape from a city, only to risk it all in the desert, defenseless while soldiers are in hot pursuit, or have already suffered greatly. I wonder how long they chase after them once they've left the cities. Most people think it's impossible to survive in the desert, so wouldn't they figure they could let the desert do their dirty work for them? I hope no one was wounded. Blood attracts creatures of all sorts, predators that'll pounce on the weak. They're from? A work camp, farther north. You wonder how they managed to get here on foot? Must have been a long and dangerous trip. It was indeed. But my people knew that, for them, it was either freedom or death. And the path to freedom is paved with graves. <laughs> The day is rising. They must find a place to rest, and this cave is perfect to hide them from both the men and father's son. But this cave has... He has a bad feeling. There's danger here, from the moment he wakes to... No, we have already met and defeated danger. Overcome it together, so he must... He must stop behaving like a slave. Come! Uh Don't be afraid. Scum sent me from Newton Valley to protect you.
This isn't a good time to just hang around here. We're almost a mutant valley. You have our thanks, man. Call me Zechariah. Then you have our thanks, Zechariah. They... We will not forget what you have done for us. We must hurry now, though. The day is coming.
You're just an old fool, aren't you? Risking your own neck to shelter the rogue. Well, if your neck's no value to you, it's no value to me, either. I'm off to a fear. Soldiers? Abundance has fed its parasites for far too long. I think it's time we stop some of the leeching. No, stop! Listen to me! Let me... Oh! If I don't step in, they'll kill him. Guys like that make you hate technomancy all the time. You better get a move on and do something damn quick if you want to find out that you're alive. I... I thought that it was all over. Thank you. I wasn't gonna let those thugs kill you, but I'd like to know what you're doing here. Why did you disappear? I... I was missing abundance. I was hoping... <coughs> Anyhow, that was silly. No, I'm sorry. He tried to torture me, you know? He, he wanted to know where to find you, but I didn't say anything. I don't really understand how you ended up here. Anyway, let's get back. You're in bad shape. I can't figure out what Scott was doing in the desert with Alan. I better find some witnesses who saw what happened. Get to the bottom of it.
defeated just in time. That toad could have done some serious damage. Ugh, I think I'm gonna hurl. But uh, this is rather quite fascinating. Did you know that the lichen on its back is not merely a parasite? Well, maybe you. Anyway, they actually have a symbiotic relationship. The lichen cools off the toad's skin, while the toad lets the lichen feed off the ooze. Well, oozing from its pores. Yeah, now I'm definitely gonna hurl. Thank the moons. We were able to save them. I don't know if they could have survived without our help. The scum will be happy to see they made it. The gates of Mutant Valley will open wide for you this day, friend. I'm antsy to get to town. I'm getting tired of spending night after night in this rover. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to bump you up to first class, bitch ass? No. But even you have to admit, it'd be nice to go to the bathroom with the door. I'm anxious to meet Scum. He's quickly becoming a legend around these parts. Some people in Noctis talk about him like he's some kind of messiah, even though he's only just been freed from Abundance's prisons. Yes, he has lived most of his life in Camp 19, but he has shown great wisdom since his arrival, and he is quite the speaker. I think you two will get along very well. I know not a more devout advocate for peace. Hey, Brad. Zachariah, how's the hunting? Got your last specimen. Tell me you... you did! The shield toad skin! Wonderful! Oh, what you have done for science! It is... you are invaluable! I am forever indebted. You've given me years of study, and... When I finally publish, you, my friend, will find your name in the acknowledgments. Zachariah, what can I do for you? You told me you learned where Scott was from mutants. You mind if I talk to them? Like, to find out exactly what they saw. Have suspicions about your friend, Zachariah? <laughs> Sorry. None of my business, really. You can find them in Mutant Valley. They only pass through here to pass on some information to me, including the little tidbit about your friend. Thanks. I'm gonna go find him. It appears you do not believe the story of what happened out in the desert. Has your faith in your old friend begun to wane? I don't know. It's just something about the story. It doesn't sit right with me. 